seeing a few sharks in the water, which is great. Because we're not in the biggest boat. We might need a bigger boat, Jinx. As you can see, we've stopped. I think the fishermen on the boat are getting ready to do some fishing. We're relatively close to the Scarborough Shoal. Um, I think we're only like a hour or so away now. Slept pretty well last night. It was, it was getting a little rocky. Um, I felt like I was gonna fall off at some times, but still it, was, it wasn't too bad. Um, How are you feeling this morning? So guys, this is what we have to get through to go to the bathroom on this boat. Matt will demonstrate. Matt's being right now. Oh, is he really? Uh, I thought he was going to go out over... I'm sorry, uh, I can't relax now. My, relax, spot's, Matt, my relax. spot's usually there. That's I have to hang on to that. Uh, yeah. Alright, so correction to what I said before. We're actually not an hour away. We're more like seven hours away. I don't know how that happened. But it's okay. I hope I won't throw up again. I threw up last night. I feel like Kevin Costner in Waterworld right now. I really do. Boats are launching from the mothership. They're like little X-wings flying from a destroyer. <laughs> that is so badass. <laughs> so this is uh, breakfast today, hard boiled egg. Oh, it's so hot. Yarg, it's burning me hands. These guys are strong, man. Really strong. Looks like I got a fish. <laughs> so uh, Ryan, the videographer, just told us that basically these fishing boats can hold around a ton or two tons of fish, and they usually make around 200,000 to 300,000 pesos, which is I think four to six thousand U.S. dollars. I don't know how much these fishermen want to fish. Hopefully we won't have to stay at the Scarborough Shoals too long because again, um, I told Maya that I'd be back in two days and if it ends up taking four days, she might, you know, get really angry at me. So maybe if you're watching this, I'm, I'm really sorry. Don't, don't be, don't be mad. This is completely not in my control. Yeah, they're definitely some kind of military ship. We just spotted a Chinese uh, coastal guard vessel. They're saying that uh, that looks too white, American, so maybe wrapping a t-shirt around its head of all. Now there's reported to be nine Chinese coast guard vessels in the area. We can visually see about four or five of them. They're pretty far off. So far, radio traffic has confirmed that uh, the Chinese coastal vessels have been laying off and allowing the fishermen to enter the area around the shore. We're gonna take the southern approach and hopefully uh, no one will stop us. We bought some cigarettes and some vodka to give to them, so hopefully this will be a peaceful exchange and nothing bad happens. Um, yeah, probably gonna have to put away the big camera. That's a little too, that screams media way too much, so we're just gonna stick with the small one.
photographer with us, Ryan, has been holding it down with the 400 millimeter zoom. Uh, I'm gonna go ask him, see what he sees. One of the uh, vessels over there have a Zodiac or some kind of inflatable, uh, I guess, assault ship or small personnel carrier on the back of it. These are relatively large Coast Guard ships. I mean, they're, they're almost like the size of a frigate. It's not what I'm used to when I think Coast Guard, like little cutters and everything. So uh, it should be interesting to see what these ships actually are. They do have Chinese national flags on them, though. As you can see where the uh, water is starting to break, that is the edge of the shoal where it rises just above the surface. Yes, we're getting ready to get on the small boats and uh, actually get onto the shoals. It's high tide right now, so I don't know if we'll actually be able to stand on there. You guys, we're going to be getting on these. You ready, Chris? I'm ready. Sit up with us. So, just come down. All right, watch your head. yards in that direction is the shoal we are approaching. This is absolutely ridiculous. I never thought when I would, four years ago when I made a little dicky YouTube show that then it would take me to one of the most contested territorial disputes in the world on a tiny little fish, Filipino fishing boat. This is absolutely nuts. We're in the middle of the ocean, probably 120 miles away from any shoreline and the water here is like 10 meters. <laughs> I wish I bought like a snorkeling mask or something, I don't know. Okay, so the water here is literally like a few feet deep. So we're switching to the paddle. We're just gonna slowly work our way over there. You could stand here, dude. Do you want to just stand here? This, yeah. is what I, this is what I do for the show, okay? I'm literally pulling you along right now, Chris Apple. It's for the greater good. It's for the greater good. But, as far as I'm concerned, this territorial dispute is over. Solid rock. Yes! Yeah. What, what if Shelly yells off the screen or we did the classic yeah. So guys, this is literally the first time in about uh, 30 hours that I've stepped on land and it feels great. I would completely stay here if there were any kind of like water or food to be eaten, but... They think I'm doing a photo. Okay. How's the water, Shelly? Uh, amazing. Yeah. It's like the best water I've ever swam It's probably going to be the cleanest and nicest water you've ever swam in. Ever. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go into our. <laughs> I'm mad. I kind of don't want to leave here, but I mean, look how beautiful it is. But we gotta go. We gotta go. Back to the ship. Back to the ship. You gotta save for this. Look at the upper body today. I can do it. Oh, I'm gonna break the wall. <laughs> I thought this was just gonna go <laughs> and we'd be trans. Yeah. How do you feel, man? That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done. Very cool. High five. Boom! It's interesting here, the fishermen, they're, they're fishing by line. They're not using rods, so I guess it's uh, much more subtle. You can feel the line very, very sensitively. And uh, we're getting a lot of fish here, I guess. Look! Whoa! That's cool. This is a very nice piece. The color. That's what we're eating, right? That's yeah. What we eat? yeah. Okay, very cool. We got something on the line. Do you see the teeth in that? Look at the teeth. Oh wow. Did you serve it in the end? That is as fresh of a fish as you'll ever get. They literally just uh, caught that thing. It 
is a mean, mean looking fish. I believe it's called a lapu. Oh my god. Or a lapu lapu. I'm glad that we got him before he got us. So I'm at the galley now trying to get some extra fish. I mean, they're <laughs> right up there. It looks so good. Huh? All right. Oh, so good. So good. Thank you, chef. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So good. So good. All right, Chris. Hey, can I get a Coke? All right, so we just had an amazing meal. I had a nice swim. What a way to cap off a uh, journey to Scarborough Shore. This has been one of the most amazing things I've ever done. And uh, I'm just really yeah. grateful for what I get to do. Now we got 27 hours, I think, to get back to the Philippines. I'm trying to make it back without throwing up. 